When we had last left the Spacefarer, they were at Hopetown investigating Hope Tech to get a grav drive for the Constant. But there, of course, they found themselves embroiled in all manner of other stuff. Paranoid after that welder lost a tooth in the brawl. Like, for example, smuggling a Mr. Sood's package and almost getting shot by a bounty hunter who was looking for Fahim, who was also smuggling a bunch of stuff. As it turned out, they were they were now actually the real smuggler. Well, everyone was smuggling, but some people more intentionally than others. Now it was time to investigate that and also maybe finally get a grab drive. What the hell was going on in Hopetown? It seemed weird. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Ron Hope. Ron Hope. <laughs> zoop, zoop, zoop. Man, do you feel like this is foreshadowing in any way? <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. There we go. Good, good, good. Now also, because thanks to our little DLSS situation, I cranked up one of the settings. <laughs> I don't need, it probably won't even be yes, that what? noticeable to you, gentle viewer, but I'll notice it. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes all the difference in the fucking world. Okay. Fahim, what's up? I feel sick. Oh, God. This can't be happening. Why don't you just run? I convinced the tracker to let you go. Anything you left out? Anything you left out? I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. Jesus. <laughs> Why don't you just run? Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hub. It's just too dangerous. Just two more weeks. Well, I've convinced the tracker to let you go. Where are you going? I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. I don't know how you did it. I figure I got a reward coming. You're lucky the tracker was a good guy. They will send more. What are you gonna do next? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try very hard to disappear. Yeah, they will send more. You think? I mean, of course they will. Oh, God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. Wow, 5,300 credits. How much money you got if you're willing to give me that much? You know there's these machines that... <laughs> you know, it just so happens that there are bounty clearing machines. You can just pay off your bounty and no one will try to fucking kill you anymore. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do go do your thing, I guess. All right. Let's head on in here. Hey. Looks like you've got some fines to clear up. What? Whoa! Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Shit! Because of the mini bar. I'll pay the fine. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. Motherfucker. Mission status, the Aquila run. Well, at least we know where we're at. Crate of medical treatments. Oh, it's a lootable? Oh god, is all my stuff in that back room? Fuck, okay. Sure, well, it looks like I can sneak right back in here. Or can I? What the hell? Okay, let's give it a shot. Well, fuck. Okay, that... It's <laughs> not a great help. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that seems like it'll work. Lovely. And then here. Okay, and then one of these. Always a pleasure watching you work. Oh, that was actually pretty fucking close. Okay. Shut the door. 
Take all of that back. And, okay, I guess we're good. I don't know where all of our stolen contraband would be, though. Because I had at least one thing of contraband, didn't I? Or did I get that back? Oh, yeah, I got it back. Awesome. Okay. Well, before we forget... Well, hang on. There may be more contraband back here from other people that we can take. Let's make sure the door is shut. See, I was hesitant to come back here because I wasn't sure if this would be like a quest area. Kids run all over the place. Sorry. I swear, I told them to stay near the doors. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take these. Keeps half an eye on the I need to There's a dude near here that I can sell stuff to, right? <laughs> I can, I can just fence it right off to the trade authority guy. Okay. Anything else here of interest? Whoa, antique videotapes, fuck me. Okay. Holy shit, there's all sorts of old shit. There's all sorts of old shit! Oh my god. Jesus, Barry, almost gave me away. Anything else? Just paperwork. Okay. I think we're good. Are we good? I think so. Yeah, seems like it. Okay. Fantastic. Let's bring up this, our ship here, and then cargo hold. And then, inventory. Wonderful. Okay, before I forget, let's go see that person over here at the pit stop. Hey, you might want this. Oh, what have you got, Barrett? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? Do you have anything for me? Yep. Take this. Enjoy. Meatloaf. Okay. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. Yeah, this looks like a... a tiny ship part that's holding up the, the desk. Okay. Hey. There was a time when every business magnet in the collective knew my name. What? How old are you? You don't look that old. I'm not Let's do a trade. Here. I'll take any cargo you want to unload. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait. I, c I can actually sell that. <laughs> yeah, I can sell the illicit. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this again. Holy shit. But yeah, the. Yeah, the harvested organs and. I guess I'll get rid of those. Okay, where's the other one? There it is. Good. And then the weapons. From my person. There we go. And under here with miscellaneous, these old tapes. There we go. And then... That ought to do it. I guess I could sell off a few more stuff. Stuff items. Stuffs. Like that. Bowls. Bottles. Okay, I really need to do that need in between something? videos. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this next time I don't forget again. Okay. Let's head on out. Perfect location for this guy to be set up, though. Okay. Hopefully the rumors we've heard of immense smuggling going through here is true. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, let's head on in. Selling the ship? Getting a new one? <laughs> well, this is the place to do it, I guess. Wow, it does not look 
how I would have expected based on how their ship interiors look and the outside of this place looks. Okay, more lockers. Different type of locker, in fact. Tech is the everyday working person's ship. Really? Okay. Well, we'd be dust except for the factory. Let me quick save before I talk to you. Off-worlders, nothing ever good comes from them. Huh. Okay. I wonder what good that does. Because I'm definitely carrying a shitload of guns. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Huh. Oh. Hope Tech Trophy? What the fuck? It is decently valuable, too. Tungsten. Looks like little cameras or monitors. Yeah. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, I'm just looking around for now. Formal complaint. Your report has been logged, but I want to I want to be clear. Banu St. James reports directly to Mr. Hope. Banu's job isn't to help sales. His job is focused on future initiatives and broad architecture. So do your best to sell ships without promising any changes or modifications at all. Customization and personalization may be keys to Tayo's success, but hit up our reliability and unmatched safety record. Also, we have several contractors we've had good success with that do aftermarket modifications. I'm happy to send those your way. Just keep it up. Elena, Alana. Okay. Well, what's up with you? Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? I, I don't have anything like that. Who do you think I am? Some middle manager type? Like 90% of everybody I deal with. <laughs> Listen, you may need to impress your boss and all, but I don't care. Let's just get this done as efficiently as possible, and we'll, I'll just tell everybody how amazing you were. Oh, wow. I like how there's two ways you could read that. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? <laughs> I don't have an invoice. I'm thinking of buying something here. I'm not sure yet. I don't have an invoice. You don't? Wait, you're a solo outfit, aren't you? Okay. Nice. Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines with Hope Tech. You get Lines. people to care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. I like the sound of Hope Tech. I don't know. Aesthetics matter to me. What do you know? What do you think about Ron Hope? What do you think about Ron? Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. Hang on. Until he got here? So y'all were already here? Is that the implication? Y'all were here before he showed up? Huh. I don't know. Aesthetics matter to me. When it gets tough, pretty won't keep you alive. I'm just saying. So what are you in the market for? I'd like to view and modify ships. Let me see what ships you're selling. I read there's delivery jobs you offer. What can you tell me about your ships? How'd you wind up here? What can you tell me about your ships? Our motto is, they're trucks in space. <laughs> and captains pushing freight through the systems are our bread and butter. But Hope Tech builds solid. A lot of formidable scout ships and even military rigs use Hope Tech. Really? I wish I could ask about the military rigs that use it. How'd you wind up here? I worked the freight lines flying a Hope Tech ship for near a decade. Gertrude saw me through plenty of scrapes and just hard travel. Gertrude. Hope Tech ships will save Fuck your life. Fuck yes. It did mine. <laughs> it just sounds like a fucking Ford truck commercial. <laughs> when you need reliability and dependability do. on if your backside, done. think of Hope Tech. Their, their spaceships saved my life, and they'll do the same for yours. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got 15,000 pounds of space torque in just one thruster. <laughs> hope tech. Think. Think. Strong. Think hope. <laughs> uh, I, I, let me see what ships you're selling. Let me show you are they different from what's outside? God, I think they are. <laughs> A star semi? Or semi? Alright, yeah. I kind of like it. Asymmetrical ship. They managed to make this weird situation here work pretty well without it going too buck wild. Okay. Yeah. I kind of enjoy it. Watchdog 3. Okay. Very compact. Lil Muv. Oh, Lil Muv. Big Rig. Oh, shit. I love when it stretches out like that, you know? Oh, shit, look! This is all... Like a, a hallway or whatever, right? Leading to the, whatchamacallit here, the docking port. Huh. Well, that is fascinating. Oh, shit, I hate that. <laughs> right, I don't like that right there. Okay. That's an interesting design, though. Eh, it's okay. Pick up two. What the fuck? Holy shit, this is amazing. Oh my god, this is such a wild shaped ship. What the fuck, I love it. God, it's so disgusting, it's beautiful. Silent Runner. Oh, isn't this just like the other one? Yeah, it's just like an upgraded version or, yeah, more expensive version of the Star Semi. With a different paint job, too. Okay. Yeah, it's got some different pieces that make it more expensive. Okay. What about your ship parts? Are they identical to what was to out there? Over, so let's make it quick. Yeah, let's see what you Let have. Let me show you our inventory. Let's see here, ship builder. I still don't have enough money to comfortably spend here, but just have curiosity for the time being. Hope tech. Yeah, it looks all identical to what we saw, had seen outside, right? Yeah. How about, like, landing gear? I do kind of like this Hope Tech landing gear, this part. I do kind of enjoy that. Hmm. And it has twice the amount of lander thrust. Which seems quite good. It looks cool as fuck as well. That's a big, uh... A big and important part. <laughs> <laughs> that it looks really cool. It looks fucking sick. Yeah, it seems identical to what they have out outside. I'm not positive, but it seems that way. Okay. Can we get some Hope work? Tech never sleeps. I read there's delivery jobs you offer. Well, if you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority. Twice the market rate. Tell me what you're looking for. How does this work? Where do I find the resources? How does this work? Once you have the requested resources in your cargo hold, just return to me. We'll pay you the agreed fee, and we'll send porters to pick up the cargo. If you deliver the full amount, there's a bonus in it for you, too. 
Uh, where do I find the resources? Anywhere, I guess. Most contractors either represent mining companies or are miners themselves. But really, we don't care where you get the resources, so... However you procure them is your own affair. Well, what are you looking for? I I guess this, this is the same kind of work that um, the Trade Authority offers then, huh? At least based on what you'd said. So what are you looking for? As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every star yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Okay, depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is nickel. We need a medium shipment, 2,000 units of it. Okay, I'll get you what you need. Excellent. This invoice has the details. Whoa. Dry Dock Blues Hope Tech. Deliver 2,000 nickel for Inaya... Oh, shit. Okay. Huh. Well, yeah, I'll do that. How how unique is this? Because she it was voice. It wasn't just like, here's what we need on a piece of paper. Here's all the details. She specifically said that they needed nickel. If you change your mind, come back. Is that like a full ass Just quest keep arc? It holstered and we'll get along fine. Okay. Man, people fucking love having smaller versions of their spaceships up in here, huh? Man, what spaceship is this? This looks cool though. Hmm. I'm surprised that we haven't seen any cargo holders that are spherical, right? It's purely for, for like, fuel. We can't ever haul, like, liquid cargo. brother a job here. He's got a degree in Starship Engineering. Didn't even score an interview. To work here? Really? Hope Tech's the best damn job in the system. My company only uses Hope Tech ships. Never had a problem with them. Welcome to Hope Tech. How may I help you? I don't know. How may you help me, Maxwell Evans? How can I direct you? Who do I see about buying a ship? Miss Anaya can take care of you. She's to my left on this floor. Why do you sound and look like a little rat man? Can I... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Maxwell. You just have very, like, rodent-like vibes. <laughs> can I see Ron Hope? If you have an appointment with Ron Hope, he's on the top floor. Okay. He's very busy, so if you don't have a meeting scheduled, he may not be available. If you need anything else, just grab me. Sure. You got anything hidden back here? You got any secret goodies? Nah. Okay. Looks like we have to speak with this Banu person. Oh, holy shit. My god, it is enormous. Okay. Let's stay the course. Let's go up here to the offices. Wow. Who are you? Just oh, you're a worker. Just three more to go until break. Okay. Well, there's a research lab here. Do I have any research I can perform? I would guess not, but maybe. Oh. I have a soda. Okay. Sure, throw it in there. Alright. There we go. To break up a scuffle among some of the engineers. The timetable's got everyone on edge. Good. Does this involve the security of Mr. Holt? <sighs> well, no. But your people are just standing idle and we can use help. Idle. You think Cassette. we our duty? Mr. Hope's protection and welfare is my sole concern. If we distract ourselves with other matters, our edge dulls. But... Who the hell is this? Huh. Okay. Oh no. That wouldn't work. The O2 needs enough capacity for the whole ship. 
Benu St. James. Oh, hello. Someone worth paying attention to. I hear you're an expert with grav drives and other ship parts. I need to ask for a favor. What's it like being an engineer here? What ships have you worked on? What's it like being an engineer here? Oh, it's marvelous. Generally, they only care about efficiency, cost effectiveness, and reliability. Oh, sure, there are the odd complaints about comfort and lack of decent airflow, but they almost always side with the numbers. What ships have you worked on? Well, all of them. I've been with Mr. Hope since near the beginning. I think he appreciates my attention to detail and my focus on the fundamentals. Although he has been hinting that the R&D budget may dry up if I don't produce results. Man, I gotta say, uh, for Starfield, I absolutely fucking love hearing, and I don't know the how the accuracy of them, but I absolutely fucking love hearing all the various, like, different accents from across Earth continuing still, you know? It's, it's very different from, like... Fallout, of course, where it's predominantly American accents. And if anything, sometimes in Fallout, there are characters who, for some reason, 200 years later, uh, do not have an American sure accent. At right least some down, kind, right? Whatever you're thinking of. Or um, uh, also in Fallout, various like Chinese accents as well, specifically. Uh, of course, Elder Scrolls has no shortage of accents, many of which are um, directly or loosely inspired by real life ones but i feel like starfield's really taking the cake here huh okay i hear you're an expert with grav drives and other ship parts i need to ask a favor sure that sounds like me what can i do for you sounds like i'm a you. little busy but uh, i think i could spare some time oliver campbell sent me i'm here about a grav drive for an old colony ship we're all busy I need to know if you can help put a grav drive on an old colony ship or not. Oliver Campbell sent me. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oh. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grav drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. They didn't take off. But I've got access an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours? Holy shit. 40 grand? Pay 40,000 credits. Sure, it's a lot, but it's worth it. Persuade. 40,000? Maybe we can find a way to lower that price a bit. I don't even have that much. I'll have to come back. Maybe we can find a way to lower that price a bit. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grav drives are. You've had that old part for how long? And no one has yet offered to buy it. Surely the profit you'd make doesn't compare to the freedom you'd be giving these people. Do you believe in karma? Helping these people out is bound to come back to you in big ways. Okay, fucking spacefarer. A little, uh, fucking presumptive here. We only need four pips, though. Let's try this one. Surely the profit you'd make doesn't compare to the freedom you'd be giving these people. Maybe it oh! So we to demand such a price. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Okay, 25,000. I'm not sure if we have that much, though. I think we may be just shy of it. Well, that seems very reasonable. Thank you. You're done right at this. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Oh. How much money do I even have left now? I have 2,606. Fuck, I nearly didn't have enough. Okay. Oh, hold up. We got a new manual, didn't we? Oh, shit. Okay. What was it called again? Grav drive manual? 
Oh yeah, here we go. This manual is full of complex diagrams and instructions for how to install an antique grav drive into a variety of old ships. Okay. Sure enough. Alright, well, you know what? I want to continue investigating around here since we are in the neighborhood. Look, we start calling systems neighborhoods. I can't get enough of it. Oh. Uh, I didn't realize it went back this direction up here. Hope Tech Trophy. Okay. Notepads. Whoa. Alright. Hey, can I speak to you? Whoa. Are you real? Regular offices here. Can I speak with you? Hello. Elena. Yes? I read a message from you or something. We might hit a new record in sales this month. Okay. You walk the factory floor? It's impressive stuff. No, but I'm really considering Every it. Every day my inbox just keeps growing. <sighs> Whoa, look at this fucking cartoon-ass sandwich. It's three sandwiches in one. Bitten sandwich. It has a different description. A salami and cheese sandwich, clearly delicious as evidenced by the large bite taken out of it. A delicious salami and cheese sandwich made fresh. And the last sandwich is actually called a plate, weirdly enough. <laughs> okay, sure. The silence of sand. Whoa. Okay. Anything else over here? Just processing another order for pickups. Popular model. Man, do you think they know that they sound exactly the same? <laughs> a lot of notebooks there. How about up this way? Was that Ron's place? What are these? Restrooms? Yeah, water closet. Anything fun in here? No, nothing really. Jay-Z Bear, hope you don't need the plunger while someone's taking a fucking dump in here or whatever. Okay. Well, let's go check the even higher floor. No secretary here. As long as you keep the peace, you're good in my book. Well, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Is this Ron? If you're looking to make a purchase, I don't handle that personally. Inaya Raymond should be able to help you. Wow. Okay. I feel like this is this is Wes Johnson's most normal sounds like him in day-to-day -day voice, you know? I don't believe we have a meeting scheduled. You must be looking for someone else. Okay. Enjoy your visit to Hope Tech. Oh, what do you have to say? excuse me, I am on duty. Oh, okay. Wow, I thought they would have had a quest for me. I guess we have to get a quest elsewhere. And then it leads up to here. They don't seem to mind me looking through their shit, though. Wow, should we walk around the factory floor and all that? Why not, huh? Maybe there's like a hidden little fun goodie out here. You know, some little knickknacks we can grab. Wow, I love the catwalk system, huh? I can't believe we haven't had more shootouts at like these catwalks and stuff, you know? God, Barrett. There we are. I think the last time we had one, it was at the main story quest area. Uh, remember very early on when we had to investigate the Nova Galactic shipyard or whatever it was? Star Yard? Wow. Man, 
Man, I love it. Yeah, look at all this extra shit that you can just go around and look at. Wow, okay. That's Barrett? No, this is Barrett. <laughs> Barrett, I think my watch is on the fritz again. It thinks you're up there. Is this like an elevator lift? Okay. I'm assuming it's my watch that lets me scan people somehow. Can I somehow go even higher here? Oh, fuck yeah. God, that's terrifying. Okay. Let's head on down. Man, Barrett is fucking buck wild. Look at him go. Okay. I want to land on top of the spaceship. Holy shit, yeah, look at this. Whoa. Wow, they modeled way more of the interior than I was expecting them to have modeled. You know? Like, there's no chair in all of that. But especially with it being in here, you could easily reason like, oh yeah, they're, they still have to put in all that and decorate it. You know? Which, maybe that's very literally what's going on here. I don't know. Look, there's even a treasure chest there. What the fuck? Can I enter there? Can I go inside of this? No, I don't think I can. Isn't this the... The bay that would open up? Weird, there was- there's loot in there. More solid storage. Can't be opened. Okay, well, fair enough. Is there anything out here along the factory floor? <laughs> I don't think so. Industrial Robot Model A. Hello. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hold up, hang on. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. Sorry about that. I'm not really sure what the cause was. I think maybe it really was me saying that word then. I'm not sure. Maybe she was on high alert and been hearing something outside that I didn't hear. I went and even looked to see if we had gotten like a delivery or something, because you know, uh, it was Black Friday not too long ago, so we've been getting shipments and stuff, so to speak, that, uh, need to be gift wrapped for holidays and whatnot, but uh, that didn't seem to be the case. I don't know. Maybe neighbors or something? I've, I have no clue, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Very strange. Uh, yeah, if, if you're fairly new to uh, the channel and whatnot, uh, the love dog very frequently just chills and watches me record, or at the very least, kind of falls asleep nearby as I'm recording and is very frequently uh, accompanying me on any journey. Any anyway, let us head on out of here. Let's go to I guess back where we came from, right? Is there anything else on this planet or whatever that we should check out? Okay, hello? Are there people in here in the factory floor that we should speak with? I don't think so. This is an Please do not interfere with my tasks. Oh wait, you have How's a name. The grab drive coming. Well, we got delayed. The storm pushed the delivery timetable. We should be. Do I look like I want your damned excuses? Tell me how we're hitting the schedule. We could pull a double shift. The workers are tired, but but they should hold. Good. Do it. Remind them it's overtime pay plus a bump for hitting the timetable. That should keep him on track. Those yeah. Jack it really seems like this is just going to be the death of me. Like Howdy. labor malpractice on behalf of the company, right? You missed the tour? Yeah, this is where it happens. Listen, 
I ain't exactly customer facing, so just go on your way and neither of us will get in trouble. I prefer the straight scoop instead of marketing bullet points. Looks like you have your hands full. How would I get you in trouble? How would I get you in trouble? I don't have time for niceties or damned manners. Is there actually a tour? I know one thing, how to ride these blockheads until we make something good. Well, I prefer the straight scoop instead of marketing bullet points. You do? Well, I guess we'll see. So here is the factory floor where you get to see me wrangle a bunch of morons into, oh, I don't know, doing their damn job. You're not exactly instilling me with confidence here. The workers can't be that bad. You must be the boss, then. The workers can't be that bad. Most of them are farmers. Come here to make it rich. It's my job to drum some experience in them, kicking and screaming if need be. If you want to ask questions, make it quick. We got a tight delivery coming up. Huh. So there used to be a shitload of farms run around here? Weird, okay. What's the deal with Ron Hope? The working conditions seem intense. So you run the whole floor? The working conditions seem intense. This ain't no highfalutin New Atlantis desk job where everyone gets their after bleed and noon tea. This is polvo. We work for a living. If you think this is tough, you try farming in the tundra. Believe me, these blockheads got it good. After bleed and noon? Were you meant to have, like, a different accent aside from this? Okay. What's the deal with Ron Hope? Polvo was just some nowhere dead-ender until Ron Hope had a dream. Let's build sturdy, dependable ships. No nonsense, none of that damn Tayo glitz and glamour. Just a ship that flies right and will get you where you need going. Ron Hope's a goddamned hero. <laughs> what the fuck? So you were on the whole floor? Every rivet, every piece of plating goes through my team. If you've got a Hope Tech ship, it means I've crawled through every inch of her at least once. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bye already. Huh. I wonder if there's other people here we could talk to. Is there, like, legit a tour, or was that just, like, you know, a figure of speech? Oh, we can crawl through this one. At least a bit. Seaweed mini bite. Anything else over here? Workbench. Or I guess you just go to. Oh, sorry. Huh. Looks like another place for people to hang out at. Is there someone in here? There's a bunch of stuff here. My God, look at all this. Okay. Jumpsuit. What's that, like, a bunch of used toilet paper? A bat ball cap? Oh, just a regular bat ball cap, too. Okay, well. Seems like there's not much going on inside of this area, despite it looking fairly important. If I take the fire extinguisher, does the alarm go off? For me, right? No. Okay. Let's do a quick load there. I'd rather not have that in the inventory. Special project skill allows you... Did you see that? It was like special weapons or whatever. So far we haven't had any of that, I don't think. But maybe. Well, there's a safe here. I wouldn't mind getting into that. Okay. Let's see. Any that fit in here in the outer ring exclusively now? Well, we could do one of these. Okay. Good. Well, I guess we have to use this one. Right? Yeah. Okay, and then... Good. 
Nailed it. That didn't take. Okay, we'll take Long that. Is there anyone we should talk to, though, before we get out of here? I really don't think so. I think that's... that was it. I feel like maybe this will all come into play at a later date with a different faction. Maybe for... Freestar? I don't know. Though it feels like it would be separate, you know? It feels like this isn't tied necessarily to the Freestar Collective. At least their major, like, quest arc. Uh -huh. More of the ship interior. Does this actually go into the cabin? Maybe it's accessible? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we can actually get in here. Okay. Not that there's actually really anything worthwhile, but hey, worth checking out, I guess. Fridge is empty too. Okay, yeah, I think we've seen all there is to see here. Fair enough, there's a research terminal or lab. Okay, yeah, we may have to come back once we do more of these quests or we pick up quests from elsewhere? I'm not sure. It sounded like there was a tour, but like I said, I'm not sure if that was just a figure of speech. Is there actually something down here? Because I don't think we... Yeah, we didn't enter through here, did we? No, we did, didn't we? No, we entered from the upper floors. Okay. Yeah, how odd. All right. Huh. Weird. There's definitely something going on, but I have no idea what. Oh, you know what? Maybe it could be tied to the Crimson Off Fleet, world, right? since we know they're Stay up to, to some shit. Maybe Hope Almost has ties to the Crimson Fleet in some way, right? Since they, they seem to be outdoing the trade authority in some ways, right? Maybe they're cutting out the middleman, so to speak. One hopes the best thing that happened to us. Huh. That would be fascinating. Okay. Well, we could check out like one of these towers or over here in the the further away hangars. I guess we can do that before we call the video. And this time in between videos, I'll remember to um, hit up the Vendor Lord and sell some of our excess stuff that we have by way of the Habs moving everything into our cargo. Yeah, there's so much shit here. There's a worker. Cooler. Excuse me. Yeah, this place is gigantic. All right. It, it feels like the same size as Sidonia. You know, the exterior. Whoa, what a big ass thing of methane. Okay. I don't think there's anything going on over here. Okay. Sure. Loads of dish. Satellite dishes over there. Nickel, which we will need in some fashion. Huh, yeah. How bizarre. Canis palm. Iridium. Okay, good. You got it. Aruna Golden Glow. Alright. Yeah, let's head on back to the ship. Let me just scan this real quick. Oh, and this. Oh, some nickel. Is that also nickel there? Looks like it. 
Okay, good. Now let's head back to the frontier. There we are. And I guess we'll get some of these done. Or should we go wrap things up at Paradiso and then do these? Yeah, that's probably a better idea, right? We'll go to... We'll hit up Paradiso and then finish that there. Well, I'm sure there's still way more quests on Paradiso, but we'll do that. And then we'll do more of these Hope Tech ones, right? Oh, hey, here's one of the storms that we had read about. Okay. Well, in between videos, we'll call this one a bit early and we'll vendor off some of our random bullshit, right? There's quite a few vendors just out here. And there's also the Trade Authority individual just inside as well. We'll take care of all that and have our cargo hold super cleaned out. That way we can, I guess, accumulate 2,000 units of nickel eventually over time. It's quite the large amount. I wonder how much we're going to make from that, if anything. I don't, I don't know. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>